Welcome to another episode of me complaining about computers and technology. So today, the thing that you, you will see in front of you something I actually hate, and that is three computers in one vantage point, okay? You see a desktop, you see two laptops, okay? I, a lot of people ask me, hey Luke, how do you keep files synced between your different computers? What program do you use? I don't use any of them because at any point in time, I am using one and only one computer, okay? Despite the fact that I now have three, so this desktop I've had for like 10 years, this is the ThinkPad that I've used for like a bajillion, I don't know, for, I use for basically everything and this has been in the closet. Um, and this someone recently sent me, I'm going to do a video on this, it's a Libra booted uh, ThinkPad T400. That's an X220, that's, I don't know, some kind of HP NV something or another. Okay, why do I have three computers? Why do I hate it? Okay, the reason, it, it is such a pain to have multiple computers, but I need them for different purposes. And I want you, you where's the, okay, yeah, there, you, I want you to tell me what is the computer that I should get that solves all of my problems. So here, here's where things are right now. Actually, maybe I'll show you the list already. Uh, no, I'm not gonna show you the list yet. Okay, here's the deal. Firstly, what is this desktop for? I hate, de I'll put it this way. Uh, ThinkPads, okay, let's put it this way. This is the ideal, okay? This is a laptop, right? I take it off, I do whatever I want, I do work wherever I want. Great, and I get home and, oh my goodness, look at this, it's a dock that I can put this on. Wow, now this laptop is magically transformed into a desktop, I can now use it on the screen that's attached and I can connect whatever I want, right? That is the ideal, that is actually how computers should be used, right? You can have a laptop, you can easily just hook it up to a screen. Now, of course, the desk is like, or the, the dock, the ultra base, whatever, like that's super ergonomic, I love that thing. Um, so that turns any laptop into a desktop. That is the ideal. I would like to be able to have a computer like that that I can do everything on. The reason the desktop is here is solely because occasionally I will do live streams, okay? Um, and the uh, this laptop is actually fine. The hardware on it is fine. But thanks to the developers of OBS who are constantly breaking things and screwing things up and requiring more and more memory usage, um, this laptop, although it worked perfectly fine for five years of my channel for live streaming, now using the same software after updating, like it just gets worse and worse and worse. So I have to use this higher spec, uh, you know, has i7 and all this other stuff, uh, this this desktop, right? So that that is the only reason I use it for that. So what does that mean? Let's think about what that means for me, okay? Now, of course, if I have a desktop here, of course I'm gonna use it, right? Um, I only just now plugged up this laptop. It's usually not in use because usually I've been using this. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but so the annoying thing about this is that, okay, if I, if I'm going to work on stuff on the desktop at my desk and I'll use my laptop somewhere else, well, now I got to keep all of my repositories, all my files, everything in sync. So I have to be constantly thinking, oh, you know, got to update this side or the other, or, uh, you know, if I want to download email, which I do on my laptop, uh, it's a little tricky, like getting that to sync with the email that's kept on my desktop and the server and all this kind of stuff. It's just a pain. I would like to be able to use one computer uh, for everything, including my live stream. So I actually made a list and this is a list of absolutely, uh, I, okay, here's what I'm actually getting at. I know it's almost four minutes and I haven't really told you what my actual motive in this video is. My actual motive is I want you to tell me what computer I should get because I like to think that I know what computers are out there, but um, it has to match my specific qualifications. So let's look at these, let's look at these. I didn't expect to put my handwriting on the screen, but I'll show it to you. Here are the four things absolutely I need in a laptop. Number one, and by far the most important, don't, don't recommend me anything without a track point. What is a track point? It is the absolute most important part of a laptop. It is this thing right here, okay? I know, I know if you're still using Fisher-Price, my first computer, you might be using, oh, I'm gonna use the trackpad. Oh man, all the heckin' gestures, they're so cool. No, okay? Grown adults, they use this. Why? Because you can type and move the mouse at the same time, very ergonomic, you move things around. As far as I'm concerned, if it does not have a track point, you might as well just throw it straight into the trash. Don't recommend me anything without a track point. That is literally the most important thing. It is less useful than a desktop, okay? And notice even, oh wow, I don't even have the cap on it here, but notice that even my desktop computer has no mouse, 
I even have that because why would I use a mouse if I have that? Every once in a while I need a mouse for something, I will admit. Uh, like if I'm, I don't know, if I'm over and someone or someone's over and wants to play games, right? Or like a normie wants to use my computer, which usually I don't like. I'm like, you gotta, you gotta, this is like, a, you must be this tall to ride. Okay, that's as far as I'm concerned. So track point is the most important thing in a laptop. That's number one. Number two, the dock slash ultra base. This thing under it, I wish I had three hands right now. This thing under it is the second most important thing, okay? Because I, the thing about this laptop over here, okay, is that it is a T-series ThinkPad which does not have a dock, okay? So I can't do that, you know, I can't come do all my work and then get home and just plop it on this dock and everything's plugged in. Uh, and in fact, the dock can also have an extra hard drive, which I do have in there. I have a bunch of movies and stuff. So, wow, we get home and we wanna watch movies. Oh my goodness, there it goes. Now we can watch them, great, perfect. Um, except for if you don't have a dock, sorry, T400. I mean, I like you, but like, it's just, you don't have that. Okay, so that's number two. Number two thing, now it doesn't have to look exactly like this. I know that some computers have a thing that's just on the back. And in fact, even the draw, even the extra hard drive, that's nice, not required. Number three, it has to be repairable and non-planned obsolescent. I uh, kind of got confused with the grammar there. Um, yeah, again, I didn't expect uh, to show my handwriting on screen. I feel a little naked. Um, so this computer, if I want to remove the hard drive, what do I do? I unscrew one screw here and pull the hard drive out. If I want to replace the memory, I unscrew two screws on the bottom, you know, replace the memory. Nowadays, <clears throat> the thing with modern thing pads is that, oh, you can't do that anymore. Sorry, the memory is soldered in. You can't even replace it. So what does that mean? Firstly, uh, if you have RAM already, which I do from these other computers, I can't just get a new ThinkPad and put that in there. No, if I want a high, if I need high memory usage, I have to literally just buy the version that's marked up by $500 that costs more, okay? That is where they get you. That is the stupidity of it, okay? Now, actually, it's very smart because dumb people fall for it. So, you know, I can't fault them there. Uh, I mean, it is unethical, but, you know, whatever. I understand why, you know, why it's working, right? So I want to be able to, uh, fix things, replace things. This computer I've had forever. I've replaced basically everything on it and I treat it like if you know how to do it and if you have a old ThinkPad that is easy to replace and fix parts on, like you don't have to even treat it that nice, right? That parts are cheap. You know how many keyboards I've gone through on these things? I don't even know. Like I literally, in my closet over there, I literally have a box of old keyboards, okay? I'm not even kidding. Um, all right, so last one. Live stream, I have to be able to do a live stream, okay? So as I said, this one, uh, I could probably do a live stream on with FFmpeg, but in general, it's not working for me right now. And I will also say this X220, um, I always hold on to computers for super long. Like, unless they literally do not work, um, I will not get rid of them. But this one, for example, the charger on the back, like, it doesn't actually work. It can only be charged through a dock right now. So that's totally broken and I've tried to fix that. That's like nothing that can, I'd have to like cut open wires to fix that. And I'm just like, screw it, can't do that. Um, and also the battery like isn't fully attached. So I have to be careful when I have it. You know, I, I basically, I either have to have it on a dock or battery and plugged in, or, you know, just make sure that I don't let the battery fall out of it. So this thing is super broken, so I might just, you know, get a new one, throw this away, or it'll harvest it for parts. Let's be real. That's what I actually do. Um, but as I said, it can kind of work for live streams. Maybe if I just got the X230 or whatever, maybe that would be better. I don't know. I You know, I think it's worth having the 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 I don't know maybe making the switch to the newer keyboard wouldn't be that bad in the grand scheme of things. I'm not. Maybe I'm selling out and saying that. So those are the must-haves. Here are the probably should have, okay? The, this is a dream list. I don't even expect any of this, right? So 1080p display. This does not have a 1080p. This does not have a 1080p, right? So uh, I'm just used to not having them, uh, but it would be nice to have one, okay? I don't, this is one of those 1366 abominations. I don't know why they even made those, um, but I would like to have one of those. Core boot, it would be nice to install core boot on a machine, okay? Or ideally Libre boot, but I know that there's basically, I mean, you have to have something as old as this to have a Libre boot, you know, on it. MSATA would be nice to have extra hard, an extra hard drive or, you know, 4G uh, adapter. And lastly, what a, a decent onboard mic and webcam. That's really hard to read, but, um, so ideally if I'm out, if I'm recording, if I want to be able to not have to carry around this giant, you know, thing, 
uh, to record stuff, like, hypothetically. You know, of course, this would be better than whatever onboard mic is there, but, like, if I can get a decent on, uh, you know, decent webcam, decent mic, it would be nice to be able to just use that, you know, if I want to live stream somewhere else or if I need to record something somewhere else. So, all right, so that is what I want, okay? So really, uh, and what I want to be able to take this, harvest it for parts, basically get rid of this thing. Oh, the other thing about the desktop, this is also proof that I, like, literally hold on to everything, even stuff that's like partially broken. This thing does not turn off. So when I shut it down, um, it'll stay off for like five seconds and then boot itself back up. That's why I have this thing here. So this is the real way to turn it off. Th this is not even a joke. Like a lot of people, oh, he's a tech YouTuber. He has lots of crazy technology. Yeah, this is this is the technology I actually have, okay? So yeah, and I'm not, I don't know. I'm not gonna buy, I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on some computer just so I, I don't have to flip the switch, whatever. Um, so anyway, this thing is the thing I use now um, uh, just for like laptop usage. But the thing is, it's just getting annoying because I'll do work on my desktop and it'll be saved to those hard drives. And then I'll have to keep it up in sync with this stuff. And it's just a pain. I just want to be able to do that again um, with a computer that's not broke. So if you can think of any um, computer that meets my requirements, must have track point. Must have dog. I mean, it might be that this is the best thing. I just need to get a new one, maybe stream with FFmpeg instead of OBS. I don't know. But I just find it so frustrating to have multiple computers. I'm just dying to get rid of these things. It's just, and this thing makes so much noise. I'm just complaining about this stuff now. But um, so yeah, that's how I keep my files in sync. I don't. I throw away computers and I only use one. Okay, that's what I actually do. I just want to get rid of this stuff and stop thinking about it. Um, so that what wow what thanks for watching uh one of my vlogs guys see you next time lol